Hi, Gene here with today's thought. On Tuesday, the day before I'm recording this, two days before you're seeing it, the Republican Party released their platform for the upcoming election. And today, that's today's thought. We're going to go over, I'm going to read you the platform. And the reason I can do that is because, well, it's a Trump influence, not only because of what's... Uh, in the platform, what the specific points are, but because usually these platforms go on for page after page and lots of details. And of course, Trump, well, especially because he's a Republican candidate, he's going to get tough questions from the press and he will have to explain how he's going to have to do the, um, the 20 items listed on this platform. But in the meantime, what's good about the platform and takes, uh, and, reflects the Trump influence, reflects his uh, background as a businessman, is that the platform has been released for now as, well, there is some detail, but what we have here, what I'm going to share with you, 20 bullet points, 20 very simple statements of what the Republicans are promising to do. Now, as I said, of course, they're going to have to back it up with how they're going to do it. But these points to me look really, they're just common sense, number one. And number two, I think they're ones that the uh, uh, that the, the American public, that the voters want and that the Democrats are not doing if the republic it's another contract with america if you're some of you probably weren't even born at, when the contract with america america came out interesting backstory to that so let me just digress a little bit it's interesting but the ever since roosevelt became president the democrats have controlled congress for almost both houses the house and the senate for almost that entire time i think there were only two years when the Republicans controlled the Senate under Reagan for his first two years. And uh, I think under, I'm not going to bother to look it up, you can, but I think under Eisenhower, there was a point where the Republicans had control of one house or the other. But otherwise, it's been Democrats all the way, and the sometimes with a veto-proof majority. But don't get me started on that. There's a subject there. But Newt Gingrich, he had a very, he said, we're going to win, the Republicans are going to win the House, and we're going to do it. And he had a very clever way to do it, and he did two things. Number one, he, C-SPAN shows proceedings on the, the House floor and the Senate floor when those uh, houses are in session, and what what uh, Gingrich realized, now they... It's changed since then, as I understand. I'm not a regular viewer of C-SPAN, but the camera pans around the the room and shows the uh, the senator. Yeah, I, I'm sure they do. They they show the the chamber, but in those everything that's going on. But in those days, they didn't. All they showed was the person speaking. They just showed the lectern, the people uh, stand, the person standing in front and speaking. So there were. Uh, a couple of there was um, um, tr uh, not Trump. <laughs> there was uh, Gingrich and one other guy whose name I don't remember. But these were two guys, and they would come out and they would speak about their contract with America, and they gave this these statements, described what they would do if they were elected. But because the camera didn't couldn't didn't pan around the the chamber and show it was. Uh, going on in the chamber, you didn't know how many people were there. So the assumption was that the chamber was full, that every all the, the um, members of Congress were there, or most of them, and listening, and they they weren't. The chamber was empty, and these were, the Gingrich was making these statements uh, in the evening. So the, the one of the, the main point I want to get to is they issued a contract with America. He said, this is our contract with America, and there was a list of things that the Republicans would do if the voters gave them control of the House. And for the first time in literally decades, they they won. They won control of the House it was, by putting out these, uh, I don't remember how they, many there were, but a, a, a limited number of very succinct, 
simple promises of what they would do. And Trump, because he's a businessman, he said, well, we can't do these long statements and go into a lot. Just give me bullet points. Here's what we're going to do. Here are the bullet points. And that allows me to put these bullet points right up here, or there, it's a numbered list, and just read them off to you. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's get started. Here are the 20 points, the 20 promises that the Republicans are making if they, if uh, Trump is elected and if the, the Republicans have both control both houses. One, seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. Two, carry out the largest deportation operation in American history. Three, end inflation and make America affordable again. Four, make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. Five, stop outsourcing and turn the United States into a manufacturing superpower. Six, large tax cuts for workers and no tax on tips. Seven, defend our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, and our fundamental freedoms, including freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right to keep and bear arms. Eight, Prevent World War III, restore peace in Europe and in the Middle East, and build a great Iron Dome missile defense shield over our entire country, all made in America. Nine, end the weaponization of government against the American people. Ten, stop the migrant crime epidemic, demolish the foreign drug cartels, crush gang violence, and lock up violent offenders. Eleven, Rebuild our cities, including Washington, D.C., making them safe, clean, and beautiful again. Twelve, strengthen and modernize our military, making it without question the strongest and most powerful in the world. Thirteen, keep the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. Fourteen, Fight for and protect Social Security and Medicare with no cuts, including no changes in the retirement age. 15. Cancel the electric vehicle mandate and cut costly and burdensome regulations. 16. Cut federal spending for any school pushing critical race theory, radical gender ideology, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children. 17. Keep men out of women's sports. 18. Deport pro-Hamas radicals and make our college campuses safe and patriotic again. 19. Secure our elections, including same-day voting, voter identification, paper ballots, and proof of citizenship. 20. Unite our country by bringing it to new and record levels of success. That's the list. That's the promises. And you know what I think I'm going to do now is I think I'm not going to do it in this uh, this uh, thought. I want to keep it short. You have the list, but I thinking I might in some future thoughts, maybe the very next one, start discussing these points in in detail. My my thoughts on these specific points, either all of them or certain ones that uh, especially I think are worth talking about. But for now, I want to keep this uh, keep this short. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. Your comments, as always, are welcome in the comment section below the video. If you could share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it, that would be nice. But most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.